In this video, we show how to configure an instrument to report via Wi-Fi to a custom server. We are going to use the example of an NSR TW Mark III, although the process for a VSEW Mark II would be very similar. The first thing to do is to set up the server and run the listener application. The server can be any Windows PC on the local network. It must be on 24-7 and be running the listener application. The listener waits for incoming connection from instruments. When an instrument tries to connect, the listener establishes the connection and performs required actions on the instrument, such as upload its latest data. The listener can manage connections from many instruments in parallel. After starting the listener, you should see a screen like that. Press the settings button. Adjust the various parameters, such as the location of the uploaded data, whether or not to create a log of the connection attempts, and where to save those log files. We highly recommend creating those log files as they can indicate in detail many connection problems that can occur. Optionally, the listener can force all connecting instruments to start a new recording every day, every week or every month. Otherwise a new recording will only start when the instrument's memory is full. Once started, simply let the listener run 24-7. The next thing to do is to find out the IP address of the server on the network. That IP address will be used by the instruments to connect to it. The easiest way to do that is to open a command prompt window on that PC. Then run the utility IP config. The IP address of interest is the IPv4 address of the PC on the local network. Take note of that IP address. It will be used later. Note that in order for the instruments to always find and be able to connect to the server, its IP address should remain fixed over time. For that, the Wi-Fi router should be set to use static DHCP on that PC. With the server properly set up, the next task is to configure the instrument to report to it. This task does not need to be done on the same PC, although it can be. Connect the instrument to the PC via USB. Wait for the PC to recognize the instrument, the activity LED should be blinking. Then start the instrument manager. You should see a screen like this. The first thing to do is to make sure that there is no data in the instrument. Otherwise as soon as the instrument connects to the cloud, it will try to upload all that data to the server. This can take a very long time if there is a lot of data. Then, check and adjust the measurement settings. Press the settings button. Then go over all the settings. The defaults are usually good choices for many typical applications. Note that you can save that configuration or recall a previously saved configuration to facilitate the configuration of other instruments. Go to the Wi-Fi tab and press the set Wi-Fi button. Set a connection schedule. Do not set a schedule shorter than 2 minutes. Then press the Wi-Fi report active button. If you need a delayed start, adjust the start time and date control to a later time and date. Otherwise set it to now. This will create an immediate start. Then set the SSID of the router or Wi-Fi access point. Type the password. Select the encryption. Nowadays when the connection is encrypted, the encryption is usually WPA2. Ignore the priority control. Set the IP address of the PC that is running the listener on the local network. Leave the server name empty. Note that you can save that configuration or recall a previously saved configuration to facilitate the setup of other instruments. 
After pressing OK, make sure the border around the Set Wi-Fi button indicates that the Wi-Fi reporting is now active. Now the instrument is configured and activated. It will begin to try to connect to the server. If you wanted an immediate start and the instrument does not try to connect immediately, press the Connect Now button. Observe the connection graph. Make sure that the instrument is able to connect to the Wi-Fi access point and thereafter to the server. The first connection will last about one minute. That is the time it takes for the server to ensure the instrument is completely erased, set its time, and start the recording. Subsequent connections will be much shorter. While an instrument is connected, the listener, running on the server, launches a connection window that shows the action taken by the server on the instrument, as well as information about the instrument. At this point, the instrument manager can be stopped. The instrument can be disconnected from USB. It will continue connecting to the server as long as it has battery, it is in range of the Wi-Fi access point, and the server is running the listener application. Before decommissioning an instrument and placing it in long-term storage, it is essential to deactivate it. This will ensure that it is in the off state and its battery will not deplete and possibly get damaged over time. Even so, it is important to check the state of charge of the battery at least once every six months. Start the instrument manager. You should see a screen like this. Go to the Wi-Fi tab and press the disable all button. The instrument is now off and can be put in storage until the next time it is used. 